Let's use Time to Talk now. Time to Talk was developed by Nancy Klein and it's got five stages. And we're going to use Time to Talk to address a question that we need to answer for our agenda. So the first thing we'll do is look at the question and then I'm going to invite you to break into pairs. And then in your pair, one of you will speak first for three minutes while their partner listens. And then we'll swap over and the second person will speak while their partner listens. Now this is really different from using breakout groups or just talking in pairs. What we're trying to achieve here is the first person or whoever's speaking to be able to formulate their thoughts and express them and be given good attention by their partner. So their partner, we just want them to look at them, uh, can, can nod and show that they're interested in what the person, the person is saying, but not interrupt, not to share their ideas, just to listen really, really well. If the person runs out of things to say and three minutes isn't up yet, that's fine. Just sit in silence because it may be that the person then thinks about something else they'd like to share. So it's three minutes of uninterrupted speaking by one person around the question we're going to be looking at and then swapping over and the other person speaks and their partner listens. And when we've done that for three minutes each way, we'll come back and share our reflections through a round. So a round is a round of uninterrupted talking, one person talking, then another, uh, until we've heard from everybody. It's not about saying, here's all the things I talked about in my uh, three minutes, um, and it's not going through that verbatim again, but it's sharing what Nancy calls your freshest thinking. So it may be that if you went second and you heard your partner talk, that that actually influence what you think about the question. So sharing your freshest thinking simply means sharing what you think now in relation to the question that we're looking at.